Hey, it's the Midnight Raven, and today we are doing 10 goth names for a baby, and today we are going to be looking at boy goth names. So, my sister is pregnant, and she is due in a couple of weeks, and it got me thinking that if I'd have chosen something more goth, instead of kind of normal, and gone with the crazier names that I liked, um, then my sons wouldn't be called Talon, Kieran and Lewis. I'd go for something a bit more different. So I thought I would take a look at both girl and boy names and in this video we're doing the boy names. If you want to check out the other video where I have the girl names, please do so. So I've written down 10 names that I think I liked and a bit of description about them and basically where they come from. So the first one was Renza. So it's R-E-Z R E N Z O R or Renzo, Renzo. Um, it's short for Lorenzo, um, but I would have called him Renzo. Uh, it's Japanese and it means third link um, or third son. It's also used quite widely in Italy as well. So I just thought it had a nice ring to it. The next name is Draven which is unknown meaning. I couldn't find where the meaning for this name came from. It's primarily a surname um, and I liked it because if you've watched a film called The Crow with Brandon Lee in it, his name in the film is Eric Draven and I actually started to like the name Draven and I thought that if my um, favourite girl name was Raven then I could name a boy Draven so they would have Raven and Draven cool so the next name was Dracona or Draconi um, the word is um, of unknown origin it's a first name primarily um, but people do use it for surname um, it's basically um, a word um, that I couldn't find a meaning for and I did try and I couldn't find an origin so there wasn't a lot I could tell you about the name, but I really liked it because it was unusual. The next name was Blaze. Um, it's Latin origin. It means um, lisp or stutter. So I wasn't so keen on what the actual meaning was. Um, but the alternate, alternative spelling would be B-L-A-I-S-E if you wanted to be different. Instead of doing Blaze as in by it, you could just spell it differently. The next name was Damon. It's Greek origin and it means to tame, subdue and it's also a Halloween name as well which would be good. So you could have Draven, Damien and then my surname which would go quite well. Um, you've also got Damien the character in the Omen as well so you could also use that. Um, the next name I liked was Hawk which was a boy name. Um, it's a nature name. It's commonly more used as a surname than like as a um, first name. Like I said in my last video with the, the name Raven for a girl, it's primarily not used as first names. Although you do get Robin, which is a, a bird name used quite a lot um, as well. The next name um, was Edgar. It means uh, wealthy spearman. It's popular in the US um, and it's uh, an English name as well, but it's common in America, which happens quite a lot, vice versa. Um, American names are common in the UK and UK names are common in America. Rain was the next one, which was R-E-I-G-N, as in rain, um, which means kingdom. It's a royal name. It's also a word name. Um, so I found that that had a nice ring to it, the word rain. Um, it would confuse people as well in case you were saying it's raining, but you know. The next one was Grey. Um, it's a colour name. It's a surname primarily. Um, it's unusual for a first name. Um, you can spell Grey obviously different. You can spell it G-R-A-Y or G-R-E-Y. Um, so you could use the alternative spelling um, depending. Um, another name I liked was Dexter. Um, it means uh, right-handed. Um, it's Latin. It's super cool. 
um, I find. And it's also a TV program. If you haven't watched Dexter before, it's like a horror program on TV. Um, so I found that was a really good ring to it as well. I do like ones that have like a really strong sound, like Dexter has a really strong sound to the name. And the last name I had was Thorn, which is T-H-O-R-N-E, or you can spell it T-H-O-R-N. Um, this means thicket or thorn. It's English and it's primarily a surname more than anything. Um, and I picked it because it had connections to roses, as in it's thorn. Um, and I love roses, so rose for a girl and thorn for a boy, which is kind of different. Um, if you want to use androgynous names, so names for both boy and girl, now that I've done a girl and a boy video, the androgynous names you could use would be Midnight, you could use Carbon, you could use Ebony, Jet, um, graphite, onyx, you could use the name ash, salem could be a boy or a girl, you could use eerie, you could use sparrow if you're going for bird names like I said, or the name that I also liked for a girl was storm or stormy which could be used for a boy or a girl. So uh, these were the goth names if you want to check out my girl set there's uh, a video with the girls I will link that at the end as well. So these were the boy goth names I liked. If you have a boy baby name you like or a goth name or any baby names come to think of it, you can comment down below if you'd like. If you'd like to like, subscribe to my channel. Um, this was just something I was trying that was a bit different. If you want to watch more of my content, there are plenty of playlists and videos. There's about 300 now. So if you want to like and subscribe to my channel, please do so. And I'll see you very soon for another video. Take care and thanks for watching. Bye.